All right, this is just a quick update video on my 10 gallon multi uh, shell dweller tank. I just wanted to do an update. I did a video about a month ago when I got these guys and everything was fresh. And I wanted you to see, they totally rearranged all the rocks and all the shells and everything. They started making these mounds, which was really cool. And I did put that new rock in right there. Some moss on it is a cool rock that I found. And uh, yeah, this is the tank. Everybody's still alive, everybody's still doing good. I've just been feeding them the regular little flake food. I did buy a brine shrimp, uh, brine shrimp hatchery, which I'll show you here in a second, and I'm gonna start doing that soon. But yeah, these little guys are loving it. They're doing excellent. And I'll just get some more little pictures and videos of them here for you. Okay, here is the brine shrimp hatchery that I bought. I got this off of Amazon, I believe. It was about 30 or $40. Had really good reviews though. And um, they said it's pretty simple to do, to hatch these out and that's good food for these little guys. So I'll put a link in the description for where to buy this. Also, a uh, tutorial video I think I found on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description on how to use this and how to hatch them out. I'm going to probably look at it one more time again before I set that up. But uh, yeah, that's lots of food for the little guys. So um, once again, this is my 10 gallon shell dweller tank. I'm going to do a separate video for this one, which is my community tank. I just got some new Cardinal Tetras in there. There they are. I'll do a full video on that one and link in the description as well. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you like the tanks and the videos. Leave a comment and subscribe down below. And we'll see you next time.